Today's Living Word with Pastor Arlene. Continuing our study on praying and believing God for wisdom and then getting understanding, part of the understanding that we've been talking about is revelation knowledge. Now, verse 6 of 1 Corinthians chapter 2, it says in the New Living, Yet when I am among mature believers, I do speak with words of wisdom, but not the kind of wisdom that belongs to this world or to the rulers of this world, who are soon forgotten. The Passion Translation. However, there is a wisdom that we continually speak of when we are among the spiritually mature. It's wisdom that didn't originate in this present age nor did it come from the rulers of this age who are in the process of being dethroned. How are the rulers of this age being dethroned? As we walk in the wisdom of God, speaking the word of God, we must remember that all principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this age, wicked spirits in heavenly places, they're under our feet, and we must dethrone them in our lives. But what will dethrone them? One, by stepping forward in the wisdom of God, receiving revelation, knowledge, and understanding, they are then dethroned in our life. You see, Jesus rendered them powerless. But when we walk in the wisdom of this world, and Satan is God of this world, we are now giving them place by figuring things out in the natural. And verse 7 of uh, chapter 2 says, No, the wisdom we speak of is the mystery of God. His plan that was previously hidden, even though he made it for our ultimate glory before the world began. In the um, Passion Translation, verse 7, it says, Instead, we continually speak of this wonderful wisdom that comes from God, hidden before now in a mystery. It is his secret plan, destined before the ages to bring us into glory. This is so powerful. We're continually speaking not every so often, but continually, of the wonderful wisdom of God. You see, he didn't hide it from us. He hid it for us. So Satan wouldn't be able to grab hold of it and pervert it or set up a plan against it. It's the mystery of God. But it says, we speak of this mystery. How do we speak of a mystery, a plan previously hidden that was made for our glory before the world began? Then it says, but the rulers of this world have not understood it. For if they had, they would not have crucified our glorious Lord. Notice the rulers of this world cannot understand the wisdom of God. 